Welcome back. Sa darating na Oktubre, ilan sa mga kababayan natin ang sasali sa 8 Pacific Death Games na gaganapin sa Taiwan. Ngayon, kasama na natin ang mga membro ng Philippine Deaf Basketball Team. Nandito sina Coach Gilbert Leon at players sa sina Dionisio Enriquez at Zion Punzalan at kasama ang kanilang interpreter na si Gerard Leon. Good evening and welcome to the score. Alright, first of all, uh, Gerard, pakitanong natin kay Coach, paano nagsimula yung Philippine Deaf Basketball Team? Paano ito nabuo? Every year, mayroong nagaganap na parang event. Okay. So, laban all over Asia. Mm -hmm. So, never nangyari kasi walang, walang, nag, walang nag stand up para sa kanila. Okay. So, this is the first time yung dad ko, mm -hmm. which is the coach. Nag-try nag siya mm -hmm. for, para mga join. This is the first time na nakabuo tayo ng basketball team? For the deaf? For the right? deaf, yes. For the deaf, okay, alright. And, nahirapan ba siya magharap ng players or marami naman pa ng mga deaf players na nagbabasket? Marami naman naglalaro, pero may mga taller players, may mamagaling talaga, pero gusto nila is wala silang parang pusa daw. For ah, the Philippine okay. team, right. they want like more more money, para salary, ganyan. Okay, okay. So yung mga iba na lang na nakadrain din sa kanila hmm. na proud, proud to be Filipinos. Nice, okay. Uh, uh, so paano, paano ang, obviously, isa sa naiba sa, sa paglaro ng basketball ng mga deaf is, uh, they don't, uh, it's, it's a challenge, I guess, to communicate. Pero, how different is it Pag from a regular basketball game? And uh, how do they, how are they able to communicate while playing? Of course, you're dribbling, you're defending, pero nakakapag-communicate mo sila through sign pa rin? Or, or Actually, yeah, it's easier. Expression? Sign language is easier. Okay. Yeah, very easy lang. Sign it's easier pa? Yes. Okay. Kahit sobrang layo, magkakaintindi. Okay, let's ask some of the players na kasama natin. Uh, we're with uh, Zion and Dionisio. Uh, can, can we ask them, paano sila nagsimula uh, in playing basketball? And uh, nahirapan ba sila to play with uh, able people or do they have to play with, with deaf people as well? Uh, usually, sa, li sa mga liga, okay. like, mga, ayun, nakakasama sila. Mm -hmm. So, so, lang and tayo. with regular players? Yes. Know? So, hindi kinailangan na they learn the game uh, to get with other deaf people. Mm -hmm. So, paano na iba? Kapag, kapag ang buong team mo naman, eh, pareho yung uh, condition, uh, mas, mas, na, mas nadadalian ba sila? Or what's the difference for them playing with mm -hmm. uh, regular uh, hearing uh, capable people at saka yung hearing bear? Parang simple yung, kasi pag may... Usually, pag yung mga referees, yeah. eh, yung mga sign-sign, pag uh, foul, yes. ganyan. So, parang simple ano lang, simple yung sign lang sa kanila. Okay. Maintindihan talaga nila. Okay, That's so it. It, it makes it more simple for them. Yes. Okay, uh, for Janisha naman, kamusta yung uh, experience with the team? Kasi bagong team to, mm -hmm. bagong buo yung team. Kamusta naman yung pakiramdam ng team so far? Yung sobrang happy sila. Okay. It's the first time they're gonna be playing outside the Philippines yeah. talaga. Okay. So, parang proud sila maging Filipino. Mm -hmm. you know. Alright. Um, right now, uh, we have uh, how many months to go? Kamusta naman yung preparations, uh, funding-wise as well? Uh, kamusta naman yung support for, I mean, various sports in the Philippines. Pag hindi sikat yung sport, medyo nahihirapan sa funding. Yes. I, I, I don't know what the situation is all the more for uh, yung mga disabled. So, kamusta naman yung, una, yung paghahanda for that and yung, yung support rin sa inyo? So parang nahihirapan sila kasi usually mga hearing lang yung mga nakaka, may mga fun sa kanila. As in, sobrang dami na sinend out na letters, mm -hmm. as konti lang talaga. Wala, as in, parang wala pa ata nag fund sa kanila eh. Okay. So that's a problem they're having. Tapos hope, masaya sila kasi they're on TV. Hopefully mm -hmm. makilala sila and they get the fun to play for mm -hmm. Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Kasi all I know is kapag Di, di sila naka-join, mm -hmm. walang funds, there's gonna be a fine. Oh, may fine pa? Yes. If hindi makapag-field ng team? It's $5,000. Ouch, okay. So talagang uh, we really need to send them there yes. uh, by October. Okay. Um, pero I, I can sense from your dad, no, yung passion niya mm -hmm. for this team and for this game. Uh, yun din ba yung goal niya to find, to put a team together with that? Yung sabi mo nga yung puso, hindi yung basta-basta mas magaling na mm -hmm. pwede na. Uh, was that a top priority for him and for the team? 
And so gusto niya first time in history talaga. Mm -hmm. Kasi yeah, for the Fili for the Philippines, for the Philippines right. talaga. Well, this will be the first and not the last, but mm -hmm. for those who want to help you guys out, how can they reach you uh, for sponsors out there and for individuals who want to help? Paano sila makaka-contact sa inyo? It's Gilbert C. Okay. Leon right. at gmail.com. Alright, ayan. So Gilbert C. Leon at gmail.com. That's the email of Coach. So you can communicate through there para sa mga gusto tumulong mag-sponsor mm -hmm. niyo. Well, for, for me, congratulations for what you've done sa, sa efforts niyo po to put up the first uh, Philippine Deaf Basketball Team. Any, any last words that gusto niyo masabi sa ating audience out there? Hopefully, the uh, matuloy sila. Mm -hmm. yes, hopefully, fans like Manny Pacquiao, sana mas support siya ni Manny Pacquiao. And, uh, so he wants to thank Axel mm -hmm. for the uniforms. All right. And, Wilfredo Ortiz, the, or the owner of Axel, to sponsors mm -hmm. as of now. So, everybody, so hopefully everybody helps them to... Yep. Well, for sure, more will be inspired with what you're doing. Ako, maraming salamat sa pagpuro sa ginoon nyo kahit ni kapansanan kayo, lumalaban kayo para sa bayan. So we can't wait till October and we'll see you off there papunta niya sa Taiwan. Thank you so much. Thank you.